Hello, welcome to Greenlight Networks. If you're experiencing slow speeds, there are a few steps you can take to help isolate the problem. Depending on the equipment you have, there are a few different ways you can run a speed test. The most efficient way to troubleshoot slow speeds is to directly connect to the ONT. Alternatively, you can connect to the router via Wi-Fi or an Ethernet cable, but these may not give the most accurate results. Follow these steps to make sure your home network is set up for the most optimal and accurate speed test. First, do a quick check of your hardware and software. For your hardware, ensure that the device network card is gigabit capable. If you're plugged into the ONT directly, there should be a light on the ONT labeled as data. This light will flash a certain color to indicate what speeds the device connected can support. If it's orange, that means it's a gigabit compatible connection. If it's green, that means it's only a 100 megabit connection. Be wary of using Ethernet to USB adapters as speed tests can often be skewed or limited. In terms of software, speeds can be affected by background applications and services that use bandwidth, such as Dropbox, Google Drive, any graphics card driver applications, and VPNs. Ensure that all of these applications are turned off before running a speed test. Also, antivirus software can limit speeds. If you do think that that might be the issue, please reach out to the provider of your antivirus software. Speaking of antivirus, you may also want to run an antivirus test. Malware, like spyware, is often designed to install itself on your computer and lurk in the background. If this is the case, it could be connecting to the internet without your knowledge and hogging your bandwidth. Now, check your router. Just like your device that you're using, you want to make sure the router is also gigabit compatible. You can use the same method we mentioned before of using the ONT to connect. Again, the same rules apply. If your router is connected to the ONT and the data light is orange, that router supports up to a one gigabit connection. If the light is green, that means it's only supported up to a 100 megabit connection and might need to be replaced. Another way to check this is by Googling the router model and looking up the information. Next, it's important to make sure the router firmware is up to date. Even if your router is brand new, from the time your router was shipped and received, the manufacturer could have released a new update. If you have questions, consult your router manufacturer for more information. We also recommend configuring your router to support IPv6. We've included links in the description on how to do this for both Netgear Nighthawk and Asus routers. Again, if you have any questions, please reach out to the manufacturer of your router for more information. Finally, if you don't have the ability to connect to your ONT directly, you will need to make sure that all other devices that are connected to your network are disconnected and only the device running the speed test is connected. This will prevent any other applications or traffic from altering your speed test results. On to the speed tests. Plug your computer directly to the ONT using an ethernet cable. Make sure you're using a CAT5e or better ethernet cable. CAT5 cables are only capable of transmitting at 100 megabits per second. If you have an extra cable available, run the test with two different cables. A faulty ethernet cable can be the difference of over 800 megabits per second. Restart the ONT and your computer or laptop before you proceed to the next step. If you are hardwired into your router instead of the ONT, be sure to start your router in addition to the ONT and the device you're using. Run the speed test found at greenlightnetworks.com slash speed optimization. Note, if you choose to use another server, be sure that you are testing from a server in Rochester. If you don't have a device available with an ethernet port to allow a hardwired connection, you can connect via Wi-Fi. However, please note that Wi-Fi can be very inconsistent. A lot of devices in a home can cause wireless interference and result in slower speeds than what's actually provisioned. We'll talk about that more in another video. Typically, after all troubleshooting is complete, it should be pretty clear what the issue is and what needs to be done to fix it. If that is not clear, or if you need additional help with any of these steps, please visit our website at greenlightnetworks.com ticket to submit a support ticket, or you can visit our website at greenlightnetworks.com to chat with any of our support representatives live. Also, be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified when future videos are posted. We'll see you next time.